In terms of esters, it's a very simple kind of technology. You react to an organic acid with an alcohol to give you an ester. Water is liberated from that reaction and drives the reaction forward. And depending on how you do that reaction and which raw materials you use, you can tailor the property of the ester. So BS has access to a large variety of alcohols. Um, they can be monoalcohols or they can be polyols, branch systems, but also acids um, are important. And again, here we have access to saturated, unsaturated acids. And we can pick and mix varieties of alcohols and fatty acids together to give you a variety of, of, of structures um, that be the design properties in use. The kind of properties you can, you can um, impact upon are things like viscosity, viscosity index, um, thermal and oxygen stability, hydrolytic stability. For example, if you do a lot of branching into your molecule, you can um, get much more hydrolytic stable materials. You can have lower pore points with the branching if you have properties that can use the, uh, use the pore points. Um, and also things like biodegradability, by the choice of the right, uh, right raw materials. Um, applications of esters, they're used, as I said before, in other versus co solvents and engine oils or industrial applications, aviation turbine um, oil, generally 100% uh, based on esters technology. Um, but they're also used in refrigeration and compressor oils in combination with um, other base stocks or energies, for example. What I'd like to do is spend a little bit of time now talking about a novel, a novel um, material that's been developed by the ESA. It's a high risk based fluid. Um, we call it Senator ES1200. It was launched last year and uh, it's commercially available today. What is it? It's a uh, high viscosity material. We use a lubricant formulation to replace um, high viscosity PAOs, for example, which, which are commonly used to um, achieve desired viscosity grades. The features and benefits, um, it shows energy efficiency, and I'll show you some results um, that we've come up with that compared to the PAO and mineral oil technologies. Um, it gives very good efficient um, equipment protection, shear stable in use. Um, it's one of the things that promised can suffer from the shear, shear stability, loss of the cost in use. This material is very, very shear stable. Um, it's also oxidatively very stable, has good solvation power, it's, it's based around ester, ester technology, so it's a polar material, it has good, good solvation for, for polar additives, and it also acts as a, as a lubricant enhancer. We built it around renewable technologies, so more than 70% of the material is built around renewable um, raw materials, and it's also also very biodegradable. In terms of security supply, we're able to manage packages around the world. Raw materials that we use are commonly available, so multiple sources of those, so it's easy to, easy to uh, make sure that we uh, have good secure supply going forward. Potential applications, we just actually designed it for industrial gear oils, for high performance material for industrial gear oils. And a lot of the data that we'll generate, and I'll show you some of that, of that today, but lack of time to stop and showing the, the whole package, but it has very good components in the industrial vehicles. We've got a limited amount of data around transportation, 